that you are power. We pray that you are Holy Spirit. We come upon this one. And this one will live. And bring life to suffering. In the name of Jesus. We give you glory. And we give you hope. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, God bless you. We want to invite you again today to our live stream. Wherever you are, wherever you are watching us from, we welcome you today. The Bible says that this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall be glad and rejoice. So we are happy to be alive today. And we declare that the joy of the Lord is our strength. So we are not afraid, but we are faith in our God. The Bible says that the faith that is in us to what overcomes the world. So because we have faith in our hearts, we will overcome the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This morning I welcome you again. And I want to take you through the word of God. I want to welcome you and also ask you to welcome somebody. As we go together in the world of God. Today, 19th April, the year 2020, I want us to, to read the word of God from the book of John, chapter number 5. From verse number one to fourteen. From, sorry, verse number one to, to nine, and then we shall jump to fourteen. Yeah, we shall read from John chapter number one. Chapter number 5, from verse number 1 to 9. 1 to 9. Then we shall read verse 14 again. And also we shall read from the book of Luke, chapter number 1, verse number 78. Amen. Amen. So I will read and then the, the rest of the scriptures. I will ask my reader to help me to read as I continue teaching the word of God. John chapter number 5. From verse number 1. From verse, yeah, from verse number 1. I'm reading from the King James The Bible says, and after this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in Hebrew Tan, the best having five coaches. In this lay a great multitude of important folk of blind. Out with that, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then passed after the traveling of the water stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eighty years. When Jesus saw him lie, and knew that he had been now. A long time in that case, he said unto him, Will you be made whole? The important man answered him, Sir, I have no man, when the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But when I am coming, another steps down before, he, before me. Just said unto him, Rise, take up your bed, and walk. 
And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. Verse 14 says, After what Jesus finds him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, you are made whole. See no more. Lest I was to come unto you. Can we read this way? But I'm sorry, we can just continue with uh, John, Luke, Luke, Luke chapter 1. Lucas Sura Luke 178. From a 
Baba. That one is from the translation that the Bible called God's word, but it says, A new day will dawn on us from above. Another, in another words, we can talk about divine visitation. Now, here the Bible says that through the masses of God, through the bowels of mercy of our God, the sunlight from high has visited us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to encourage somebody today. Even from where we are praying in the book of John, we shall go there later. That God is a God of mercy. Many people, they don't understand that our God is a God of mercy. And the Bible says, the bowels of mercy of our God.
wangetueleza and then in verse number 8 he says Psalms 124 verse number 8 he says our help is in the name of the lord who made the heaven and the earth isada wetu katika bwana muumba wa mbingu na nchi listen to that our help isada wetu is in the name of the lord liko katika jina la bwana who made the heaven and the earth aliyekuumba mbingu na nchi our help is not from any man isada wetu hakutoki kwa mwanadamu yeyote Matao matano. Where the sick people used to lay or to lie down. Mahali watu wa 
able to get some shelter. And now number five in the Bible is the number of grace. Yeah. 
a look down from heaven. God must move in our midst. That's why today I want to declare that we still pray that the churches will be open. We are not afraid to declare that. Because I know in Jerusalem there were hospitals. I know in Jerusalem there were even doctors. But still these people, they were able to receive God's mercy when they were taken to a place called the desert. Because the church can also be in the city. Through the church, God can even bless families. Through the church, God can lift people. That's why the Bible says in the book of James chapter 5, 14 to 15. That is, is there anyone of you sick? Let me call the elders of the church. Is anyone of you sick? We should call the elders of the church to pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall praise him up and if he have committed any sin they shall be forgiven hallelujah so the church is a house of mercy and God has chosen to operate through the church so if we shut down the churches it's like we are shutting people from the masses of God we don't want God to touch his people we don't want God to touch his people hallelujah I can say like this at the view of the tester we see the charity of men
katika wakati wa Elia there were many widows in Israel kulikuwa na watu wengi pale Israeli but God decided to send Elijah to the widow of the land in Sidon na Mungu akamchukua Elijah kumpeleka kwa yule mwanamke mjana wa Zarephath why kwa nini God's favor maana ni kibali cha Mungu God's favor kibali cha Mungu now this man the same favor There were many 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 people that were lepers. But only one leper was healed. And this man is called Naaman. A man of Syria. Why? God's favor. Now this man God's favor picks him. He never deserved anything. It was completely the grace of God revealed to him. Ilikuwa tu ile neema ya Mungu imefunuliwa kwake. And that's why I began by telling you even as today. Hata nikosa nianza kwa kuambia hata ni because of the grace of God. Ni kwa neema tu ya Mungu. And because of the favor of God. Kwa sababu ya kibali cha Mungu. We are expecting God to visit our life. Tunangojea tunatarajia Mungu atembee. The way this man's life was visited. Bila maisha ya Mungu Do you 
This wrongs can go. If we can only have a call, it's power to intervene. These wrongs can die. These wrongs, if it's the level of the they can disappear. God is with me. But are we really? Pharaoh says to God. So what does he say? He's putting God off. If you go to the shop where someone does not want to give you anything on that, he says, maybe in their cash. So tomorrow we never come. <laughs> tomorrow we never come. So many people today, what do I need them? They don't want to be healed. They don't want to receive divine help with their problems. They don't want to be helped out of their weaknesses. They don't want to be helped out of their weaknesses. They are not ready to give up on human effort to solve their problems. You cannot help somebody who doesn't want to be out. Christ is willing to be healed. If we be willing to be healed. But this man said to them, Sir, I have no man, I have no friend to help me. Now, listen as I finish how Jesus addresses this man. Jesus said unto him, Yes, Rise, and take up your bed, and walk away. This man, who never had a friend, this man, who never had any man to help him, this man, who never had any man to support him. The Bible says, Jesus said unto him, Yes, Rise, take up your bed and walk away. Jesus does not pray for the man. He does not pray for the man. He commands him with the word of power. He commands him.
Simama, get up. Tukua, arise and move. Simama, tukua, 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 God is telling you, Mungu na kuambia, arise. Simama, God is telling you, Mungu na kuambia, get up. Simama, don't allow your situation. Katika, jadi shi tu, hold you down. Amba ima tu, don't allow what is happening. Uzi, 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 uzi,
Because God is living in your life. Because God is living in your life. Because God is living in your life. You may be going through the dark time. You may be going through the dark time of your life. But I come to tell you, the Bible says in the book of Malachi, chapter number 3, that the Son of Righteousness will rise over you with a healing in his wings. I come to tell you, the Son of Righteousness is rising over you. I want to tell you, the new day is coming over your life. Arise and shine, for your glory has come. We don't be discouraged. We feel to be together. We feel to bow down to the devil. Arise, arise, the Lord of God is saying arise, arise wherever you are, arise wherever you are, I've come to speak to the church of Kaya, arise, we are speaking to the church of Kaya, to arise, to arise, to arise, we need to be oppressed, we need to be depressed, we need to be suppressed, we are arising in power, because of the word of God, we are unstoppable, because of the word of God, we are going to go forward. We are rising. Come on, shout at me. Wherever you are in your house, I command you to arise. I see a great awakening. I see a great awakening. People are rising from their slumber. People are rising from their fear. People are rising from their sicknesses. People are rising from their defeat. No, we defeated somebody. We are rising. 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 Now his spirit is walking. And I said there, the first half of a month, just walking. 
ya kwamba unaepona si ngombo usitende dhambi tena i want to come and be this sije nikakupata jambo lilo baya zaidi so it means that this man Jesus is going to give this man his dignity kwamba Yesu alikuwa huyu mtu alikuwa anaishi kwenye dhambi and then Moses ana moja that is si no no usitende dhambi tena yes i want to come and be
you want to be healed. 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 Baba in the name of Jesus, Baba katika jina la Yesu, we thank you for your word. Asante kwa neno lako. We are praying for all our viewers. Tunaombea watazamaji wherever they are. Popote walipo. We are speaking the word of God in their life. Tunaenda neno la Mungu kwa maisha yao. Arise. Wacha wakasimame. Let every sickness. Kutoka kwa kila magonjwa. Let them be healed. Wacha wakapone. Let every disease. Kwa kila maradhi. Let them be delivered. Wacha wakombane. Let the powers of the enemy. Kutoka kwa nguvu za shetani. Thank you. 